Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and I'm sitting in my office at the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. It is a beautiful day here, blue skies, little chill in the air. Um, really looking forward to being outside today. I don't know where you are, but I know some of my friends are in the frozen north, and uh, I hope that you have your parkas on and your mittens and your your Ugg boots because it's going to be a chilly one. Today is February 8th and today we're in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. And it begins, My child, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life and many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of the Lord and humanity. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, follow God and God will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes, but respect the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Love the Lord with all your heart. This was one of my favorite proverbs to use in children's ministry because you could love your neighbor with all of your heart, your mind, and your soul. And love the Lord your God, the Lord your God. Mm, beautiful, beautiful song. So I'd like you to imagine feeling like you have forgotten something. You know that feeling, right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel it in my body and in my mind. It's almost like in those old cartoons when they put the exclamation point above the head of somebody because something happened. I feel that way. I feel it in my chest when I've forgotten something. And when I've forgotten it, I want to find it right away. And I want to make sure that I have it with me, whatever it is. Do you feel that way too? Do you feel that dread in your chest or in your mind? Does forgetting something send you into a panic mode and your brain races trying to figure out what am I going to do now? Oh, that's a terrible feeling, isn't it? Well, our psalmist wants to make sure that you won't have that feeling when you're talking about God that you do not forget the Lord our God. You do not forget who you are in the Lord. You are a beloved child of God. So I encourage you as you imagine how that makes you feel, <laughs> just dot, jot down a few notes about that. And maybe write yourself a note about where to find your important papers. <laughs> that might help. As our activity today, I want you to look at yourself. Look at yourself and your people where you live. Look at yourself and your people and where you live in your mind's eye. <clears throat> what do you see that reminds you of your relationship with God? Imagine your people and where you live. And <clears throat> if you're in your home following this broadcast, stand in each room and look around and see what you have that reminds you with, of your faith, what reminds you of your relationship with God. And the question begs, what would others see when they come to your home, what would you be telling them in the different 
art pieces you have on your walls or little reminders or little happy notes, what would they see if they came to your home? Would they know that you are a person of faith? Now I'd like you to, if you have paper and pencil, pencil or pen in front of you, um, <clears throat> open or your journal, open that up or get your piece of paper and a writing utensil. <clears throat> and I'd like you to write down the things that you feel are the most important things in your life. So you have your paper and your writing utensil or your journal, if you keep one, and write the things that you feel are the most important in your life. And take a little time with that. And you know, you might even go a little farther on that and say, why are they the most important people in my life? Why are these items the most important? things in my life. And then our focus verse today is from Proverbs 3.3. Proverbs 3. Do not let love and truth ever leave you. Do not let love or truth, love and truth, ever leave you. Do not let love and truth ever leave you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Or even on your hand. A symbol of who you are and whose you are. And my friends, make no doubt about it. You are God's beloved. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow with more in the Proverbs. And you're welcome to share this on your own Facebook. Share it to your friends and enjoy being in the Proverbs together. Bye-bye.